Hello, welcome back to my channel and to 2020. Um, some housekeeping before I get into this video is that I want to thank you guys for a great year last year and welcome all my new subscribers and just this channel is so much fun and I'm so glad to be getting back to video making. Now on with the TBR for February for Tome Topple and Contemporary Thon. So Tome Topple and Contemporary Thon are upon us and they are in the same week and month and it's going to be chaos, but I'm going to up for the challenge. I'm up for the challenge. So I've got a couple of books to talk about. So I'll talk about Tone Tall 4 first, because that's going from the 7th to the 20th. And I'm excited. So my only book that I have on my TBR for Tone Topple is The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. A lot of my friends like this. A lot of the people who I watch as well have me don't like it so it's very very split but it sounds like something that's right up my alley like a fairy tale strange the dreamer-esque story a no-till stuff I'm on brand that's my dog she she judges my reading choices I have no control over her so this is what I'm aiming for this is 498 pages and just it's a thick bitch and I'm excited to get to it in between reading that, I have my second book, which is 450 pages, which is A Heart So Peace and Broken by Virgie Camera. Like the last round of Tone Topple, where I had the Star Wars Catalyst book as an in between, this is just a book. First of all, I'm doing a bio with Magical Molly for it. And secondly, it's just a book that I can just pick up when I'm getting tired, not getting tired, but just can't visibly take in more information from the Starless Sea. I'll read this. I am actually somewhat way through it. I'm like three pages in because I'm taking my time with this one and I really really like it and this cute little bookmark as well. I know. So those are my two reads for the Tome Topolathon and I might be doing like a reading vlog for just both Contemporary Thon and Tome Topolathon just because I can't do both reading vlogs. It's going to be chaos so you're getting a chaotic vlog. Thank you. Now, my reads for the Contemporary Thon are much more smaller. The first couple of prompts actually fit one book, which is to read a book with green on the cover, read a diverse book, read a new to you author, read a hard hitting one, and illustrated cover. So that's, I think, five challenges out of how many that they fit. And it's Underdog, a short story collection from Love Oswaya authors. All these authors, save for Sophie Casanova, are new to me because. I love Sophie's work and the story that she has in here I've read like three times and it's brilliant. So I'm going to read the rest of these stories and it fits the majority of the prompts. The last one which is a book beloved by the community. Now I'm not sure if this is beloved but I did know that Chelsea from Chelsea Jong Rees hauled this and she's excited about it so I'm just going to keep this as that option just so that fills that one. However. I am also going to be reading This Wayward Path or Wayward Something by Gloria Cho, which is art from a friend who is CW favourite book currently. Like, it's one of her favourites, so I'm going to shout her out. And I am just, yeah, I'm excited about this. This is, again, an anthology of stories, and I have had this, oh, this one complete C backlist challenge. Because this has been on my TBR since two years ago when I went to um, the Sydney Writers Festival for the first time, which was an amazing experience and I met a lot of friends there, met a lot of friends, and this is one of the books that was on sale and of course I live for graphic novels, so we get we get this. This is again read. And a few other books that I have on my TBR for Contemporary Thon just to sort of kick start it and just wanting to cut down on my TBR is um, Heavy Vinyl Volume 1. This looks cool. I want to read it. It's on Scribd. And Avant Garde Volume 1. Yet again, looks cool, is on Scribd, want to read it. And all these books are going to be for my over are going to be awarded for my overall participation in Pondathon, which I am participating on. My creature's name is Alessia, Alessia the storykeeper and researcher. And it's just been so much fun and all these books are different genres, which is good because I'm on the team to read different books 
in groups of threes in different genres. So that is my tome, top ball, contemporary thon, ponderthon plans. If you enjoyed this video, give this a thumbs up, subscribe, like, and do all that great stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a fantabulous day and I love you all. Bye.